Mike James. No, not that one. This one. The original. This dude played 12 seasons of basketball in the NBA and only retired in 2014. But many of us do not know him. It may be because his name was Mike James. Let's be honest, that is a very boring name. But it also may be because he was a certified journeyman. Playing for 11 different teams in the NBA, the most number of games he played for a franchise was just 93. That is not even close to two seasons worth. But when he made his pit stop to Toronto, he went from reliable journeyman to all-star caliber player. Let me tell you the story of Mike James. Mike James's NBA path was not the prototypical route. He wasn't heavily touted and didn't go to a prestigious basketball school like Duke or Kentucky. He went to Duquesne University, a relatively unknown school, and developed and sharpened his skills there for all four years before entering the 1998 NBA draft where he'd go undrafted. But that didn't deter him from his dream. He went to Europe and continued developing his skills, putting on a clinic in the Austrian and French League. He was even named an all-star in the Austrian League and captured their championship. Mike James was on a mission to get to the NBA after three seasons of hard work in Europe. On December 8, 2001, the Miami Heat offered him a multi-year deal to come play with the organization. His time with the Heat went as you would expect from an undrafted player who had to claw his way to the league. Mike James's big break came when he signed with the Celtics in 03 after his Heat contract expired. For 55 games, he was their starting point guard and he showed he belonged, leading the team in assists and third in scoring. But like any journeyman, your stays aren't too long and on February 19, 2004, he was involved in a massive seven player deal that sent him to the Detroit Pistons. There, he developed the persona, Pitbull, for his aggressive, tenacious effort on defense and he helped the Detroit Pistons capture the NBA title. Mike James, just in his third year in the league, was already a champion and he was about to get championship money. In the offseason, he inked a multi-year deal with the Milwaukee Bucks and was on a mission to be an established starter in the league. So he went to the Bucks, put in the work and backed up Mo Williams for 47 games before being traded to Houston where he started 5 games which was progress but was then swiftly traded to Toronto. And there, Mike James was unleashed. At age 30, Mike James, past his peak basketball, broke out. With the Raptors, he averaged over 20 points a game while dishing out almost 6 assists and shooting over 44% from 3 point land. Compare that to his last season stats, even his career stats, you can see his numbers skyrocketed. He was top 20 in the league in scoring. He became the first Raptor in history to score 30 plus points in 4 straight games. This journeyman was putting up all star numbers and frankly he was putting up better numbers than some of those all stars that season. You could even make the argument Mike James was snubbed from the all star game. He was having a career year but on the other hand the Raptors were having a terrible year. See the 05-06 season was a tricky time in Raptor history. They had just lost Vince Carter the season prior and aside from Chris Bosh had a very lackluster squad. So Mike James having no one really to defer to practically had full control of the Raptors offense. 25% of all of Toronto's possessions went through his hands and he made the most of it. He took a lot of shots and was very efficient but his breakout season was not short of criticism. 
Teammates called him a ball hog and the media called him one dimensional and questioned his playmaking ability and commitment on defense. Something that helped him get into the league and establish himself. The Minneapolis Tribune went as far as to say that his impending free agency was affecting his play, saying he was looking to accumulate stats at the expense of playmaking. But no one could take away from what Mike James was doing. His confidence was through the roof. Because next year, I thought y'all saw something this year, wherever I go, if it's Toronto, if it's anywhere else, I'm going to be a terror in this NBA for at least the next five years. This journeyman who had doubters at the high school level, college level, and league level was lighting everyone up. And with the end of the 2006 NBA season, after an all-star caliber year, Mike James did the only sensible thing a man at his position would do signed the fattest contract he could find. And who gave him that? The Minnesota Timberwolves, putting a four-year, $23.5 million deal on the table for him. He signed it, leaving the Great North and his stellar encore production. With the Wolves, his scoring totals halved. I'm going to be a terror in this NBA for at least the next five years. And just one season later, he was shipped off to Houston where his scoring totals were halved again. I'm going to be a terror in this NBA for at least the next five years. Just two seasons removed from his stellar year, Mike James went from averaging 20 points a game to five. He didn't manage to stay in the league for five more years after this, spending his time with the Pelicans, Wizards, Bulls, Mavericks, but his encore production never met those Raptors extremes again. His stats always just hovered around 5 points, and he officially retired in 2014. Mike James's career story is extraordinary. He was a journeyman who played on 11 different teams, but he was no bum. You don't last 12 years in the NBA and retire at the age of 38 being a bum. What he was though was a one-hit wonder. He transformed into an all-star for just one season and captivated a city. Mike James is truly an inspiration. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off. I'm going to be a terror in this NBA for at least the next five years.